Meenakshi is a place which is a little far from Udaipur and it's in Rajasthan. Mainly it's known for its religious value but I'm going to take you through my entire trip and show you what all you can do here including food, shopping and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the religious background. The first thing that I'm going to talk to you about is the temple. In this temple, you get to pray a total of 8 times per day at fixed timings and each darshan has its own name. The first one is called Mangada and usually it happens in the very very early morning. That is why at 5.23 I'm already ready. One of the best experiences here is to come to eat right after the darshan and there are little stalls which are open early in the morning and they sell dhokla and poha and chai and it's the most delicious. It is 8 a.m. right now and I just came back from the second darshan which is called Shrangar. This is the entrance to the main mandir. And that's the timing of the darshan. So it's almost 1 p.m. now and I'm finally awake. So far I've done two more darshan which were called Gwala and Rajbog and we also had lunch. Now it's raining over here and then we're gonna hit the market and see what all we can shop for. These Pandani saris are my favorite and that's why I always come to the store. This is actually mom's favorite store. She always comes here for kurtas but this time I am loving the Chanya Cholis. I wanna buy all of them. what the street of Srinanji actually looks like. Another thing I really like about this place is that the people are so so nice. They will never say no for anything and they're always there to help you. That is Samne Singh. Also these I've eaten like there's no end when I was a kid. One of the famous snacks here is fried kand which is this and you can get a lot of other fried things like potato wedges, farali patties. Another thing to remember here is do not say thank you, say Jai Shri Krishna because that's what they say here. This is the Piao. Pachas saal ho gai, wow. Oh. So the kind sir you just saw has been serving everybody for free. He sits here all day and he's not taking money for it. Of course you can give him money if you want out of thankfulness but 
otherwise he's not gonna ask you to pay for it so if you come here make sure to drink water from here this is the zawar shop and daddy used to come here regularly this is her favorite place to buy everything from so if you want to buy here's where we buy it from par nadware pure nadware pure mewad mein mere jaisa dusra koi hai hi nahi this is flavored dhana dal aur aapki dukan ko kitna time hua dukan ko 110 minute wow I'm going to my favorite place, the Tortoise Mandir. He's trying to climb. Look at the sun. He's trying to climb. Almost there. So the do my grandpa has been bringing me here since I was a baby, an infant, and here are all my friends. This is the Madan Mohan Ji Temple. They live here. And look at them playing. They're so active. And you can also feed them. They eat cucumbers. They eat dudhi. They eat tomato. So tortoise ka food is getting ready. I'm gonna play with them now. These animals are here since four to fifty years. Let's say goodbye to all of them. See you soon. So we are out here to experience the nightlife. This is not the first time. This is something that I do not want you guys to miss on. Puppy, come the puppy. So majority shops will be shut in uh, the area near the mandir, but the market is a completely different story. Welcome to the market, and we are here to have shikanji again. All in all, there's a lot to do even at night. Shop, eat, or just walk. This place is always welcoming to you. One little disclaimer, though: you have to be careful of cows and bulls. For example, here's one right here. You will find several of them on your way. And my very best friend was chased by one when she was a kid. So be careful. Okay, so um, Shrina Ji is Dadi's most favorite vacation destination. Even when she fell ill, or even when she was not ill, if you ask her, Sri Nadji Jaguche, that means, do you want to go to Sri Nadji? She would be like, hell yes. Since this place is very religious, it meant something to her because she was highly religious as well. All my memories of darshan here are with her. So I remember her holding my hand, her making sure I'm fine, her uh, requesting the guard to let us in in the middle of the line. her just her being there with me for the darshan her taking me for darshan and after her not being around shrina ji ha has never been the same for me until this trip i mean it is it will never be the same but i did feel the connection again to god this trip she would always emphasize on going for every single darshan and i think this is probably the first time in my life i ever did that wish i ho wish i would have done that when she was here every single place that you're seeing i have been at that place with her she does love shopping but she would shop five times less than i do she would love bed sheet shopping she would pick up a ton of dress material from here and she would get it stitched from her regular tailor back in mumbai but i'm the opposite i get ready made stuff cuz i do not have the patience to go and get a dress stitched and food such a big foodie but mainly darshan sitting there waiting for the gates to open sitting with her men something talking to her men something she would bend down to take the prasad to she would sit down she would she would do everything for the darshan and her aastha was what shrina ji was for me and after that not being around shrina ji lost its importance for me 
but this trip bought a lot of things back and I am so so glad I vlogged it all. This is this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it and I will be vlogging more if you like this. Bye!